Yeah, rigging up your kicker is probably one of the most important uh, bits to try and get right and spend a lot of time doing over um, doing it. it. It does take a lot of adjustment to get the right bits in the right path and the right places. What I've done here, what I'm going to show you is how to put an extra purchase in the kicker so that you can get more power out of it. Um, what I've done is just taken the conventional uh, blocks that you're provided with, um, this is the bottom block here, and what I've done is just um, tied uh, in a small bowling um, and then, so we've got a really long end this end, sort of a good few metres, and then um, another shorter end this side. Now the length of this, I'll um, come on to explain about the significance of this length in a minute, but it's quite important. And then right at the end, I've got a, a loop, a rope loop, um, with a metal eyelet in the middle. And that's, um, what, that, what we'll do is that's going to be one of our extra pulleys, if you like, and the rope will go through there, so the metal eyelet just allows it to flow and move um, easily through there. And you are allowed under the rules to put a metal eyelet in there if you want to. And then in, that, in the middle of that, I've put my other pulley block. Um, which I'll use when I uh, show you how to string it together. So what's going to happen is that eventually this end is going to be attached to the boom. It's really the easiest way to string this up is if you just attach that end and leave it attached to something. Uh, it doesn't even have to be part of the boat while you're trying it out. And then what we'll do is we'll take the other end and um, feed it up through the loop. So we've actually now got effectively three, instead of the, just the two pulleys at that end, we've now got a third one as well. So we go up through there and then back down through the block at the bottom and there we have our first purchase in there and you can see that there you see it all flows nice and smoothly through that metal eyelet okay and I can pull that out pull that in and out really easily even just a couple of fingers on the pulley block at the top and uh, I can pull it out it's a nice smooth rope really important not to have stretchy rope um, something like spectra which won't stretch at all because when you're getting hit by a gust of wind the last thing you want is the boom going up and giving you more power. Okay so we go from the bottom block back through the top block and then down through the one with the cleat on it. Now I find sometimes that uh, it can be quite difficult to cleat off the kicker um, sometimes when you're sailing along um, the rope won't cleat properly and it comes out of this one at the bottom the secret is just to get a pair of pliers and pinch the two um, the two sides of the fitting together a bit so that the jaws are a bit tighter and that will uh, pinch that in much better. So we've got there is a fully working kicker now and it slides really well. Now the, the length of that initial piece um, with the loop in the end of it is now really important because if, um, if it's too long you won't be able to pull your kicker in far enough and you can see now that it's right up against the knot that we tied in right at the beginning and it won't go any shorter. So you can't pull the boom down any further than that. And likewise, if we let it right off, now this one is more than long enough, and you'll find that um, now it won't go any further because the uh, knot with the loop in it is up against the top block. So you want to try and get that somewhere in the middle. It's also a really good idea to put some marks on your kicker so that you know uh, where the light wind setting is or the heavy wind setting and you can set it up um, as you want so you're not always just trying to get a double second guess where it's supposed to be. Um, and to finish it off, what we'll do is just take, what I've got is a few shackles in here which allows the uh, kicker to turn depending on which side of the boat I want to pull it in from. Um, and what we'll do is just take, take a piece of tape and just take those shackles up so that nothing gets caught on them. It's quite an area where the halliers, and especially the gypsy, can get caught. So I've taped half of it up already. Um, this tape's getting a bit worn, so I just renew the tape. Um, keep trying to tape over the hand, the little, the ends of the pins on the shackles, so they don't catch and rip things. There we go. And there we have the kicker ready to go.